Alrighty, here's a little bit of a tutorial on how to do zigzag skip in Melty Monster 2. So right now I'm at the end of this star, and um, if you remember, it's the it's few jumps, and then you have to go through this little zigzag section with fences that knock you around, and then you have the crystals um, that gave you star beds, and then you would jump to the star platform. Normally it looks a little something like this. So you just kind of pop across, and then you use these fences to bounce you around. You can actually skip having to take those fences uh, by simply rolling across the very tiny gaps, because Rock Mario can actually roll across a gap that is that small. This is a strat I would not recommend going for unless you're planning on going for a top time, or if you practice it and find it really, really consistent, then I would recommend doing it then too. So I'm just going to go ahead and get to the end a little bit of rolling. Um, by the way, every time I jump over a gap, I shake right afterwards like we get a small boost forward that saves a few frames each time you do that. Alright, so the first thing you want to point out here is when you are going to attempt this, when you take this ramp, it's preferred that you go off to the right and then jump over the gap because it is much easier to get the proper lineup for this that way because you need to be in a pretty precise spot when you do the lineup. So you're going to take the ramp, kind of veer off to the right a little bit, and then just jump over this gap. Oh, that was too early. I got a little anxious there. Yeah, you, you get the idea. And just for the record, if you fail zigzag skip, or I mean, you die and go all the way back there, and it loses around 45 seconds. And it only saves like three. So again, I would not recommend trying this as a beginner, only if you're heading on one for really easy time for your So you just roll through here, take this ramp, go off to the right, and jump over the gap, and then... So, once you start jumping across these platforms is when you want to start kind of lining Rock Mario up. The lineup I try to use here is you want to have at least a small portion of him kind of sticking off the edge, but not too much. And, um, alright, I'll just go ahead and kind of explain this now. So. Once you reach, I'm on the second to last platform before the zigzag section, I believe. I can't exactly tell if the game's paused. But once you jump, you want to jump when you're too tight, when you're on the second to last tile square. If you have this lineup, jump when you're on the second to last tile square of the platform. And then as soon as you land on the zigzag section, hold straight right. It might seem like you want to hold up right, but hold straight right. And once you're just about at the end of the second gap you roll across, you want to very quickly switch from right to up. So, right and then up. Like, kind of like that. There's a bunch of different angles you can test holding for that, but that's the setup I found that I works best. And the lineup doesn't have to be like, it's not pixel perfect or anything. There's, as long as at least some amount of Mario is hanging off at the right edge, but it's not too much. Like, not, no more than him. Like, try not to go half or more. A small slip, like a small sliver would probably work. So again, you just kind of want to roll across the ramp there, jump off to the right, line it up, this is a decent lineup. Right, and then switch to up when you're rolling. My half the rolling across that second gap. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate what happens if you switch too early, because that's probably something you're going to do a lot. There really isn't a good visual cue as to when to switch from right to up. You just have to get a feel for it. And this is another one of those strats, like kind of like a loop of bounds. And where you just kind of want to play around with the timing, see if you can find a method that works best for you. And this is a strat you're definitely going to have to practice a lot to get into So that's what's going to happen if you switch from right to um, up too early. I was holding kind of up right there when that happened. You want to wait a little longer than that if you want to make it across all those gaps. 
And once you switch back to up, make sure you continue holding up. You don't want Rock Mario to veer off too far to the right. Otherwise, because you can make it across both gaps, but then you want to make sure you don't switch to up too late. Otherwise, Rock Mario will kind of I'm going to try and demonstrate that now, just so you can kind of get a better look feel for it. He'll just kind of veer off too far to the right for you to be able to recover. So yeah, you kind of saw it there. I was just about to roll off. The timing on this really isn't that specific. So I'm, I'm going to show this off one more time. Again, this only saved like three seconds. So it's this is not the setup I'm using for this is not really that difficult. But whether or not you want to do this really just comes down to personal preference. But again, I would not do this as a beginner because this. This is a really risky strap to go for, especially when you're on a good pace really late in the run. Just get past the gap. Make sure they're lined up. Come off, hold right, and then switch that. And then try to bounce into the star. Alright, I hope that tutorial was good enough. Please let me know if you have any questions, and uh, yeah, bye.